For those who has really mastered the way of warfare, his enemy can do nothing to escape death. This statement comes from Sun Pin, the ancient Chinese military general, strategist, and philosopher from China's Warring States period. From an early age, Sun Pin showed great talent. He studied military strategy from the ancient Chinese philosopher Gui Guzi. The story has it that Sun Pin was able to recite every character of Sun Tzu's art of war treatise and other Chinese classics. Consequently, his classmate Pang Juan was secretly jealous of him. Pang became a military general for King Hui of Wei State and persuaded Sun to join him. Pang then framed Sun Bin as a traitor. Sun was subsequently punished with the character traitor tattooed on his face, a criminal labeling in ancient China. His kneecaps were removed, crippling him for the rest of his life. Sun Pin eventually managed to escape with the help of envoys from the Qi state. He then became the chief military advisor for the king of Qi state. Using his military genius, Sun Pin defeated his former classmate, Pang Juan, at the famous Battle of Guiling and the Battle of Maling. Pang took his own life after the arrows from the Qi army wounded him. Sun is believed to be the author of Sun Bin's Art of War, an ancient Chinese classic work on philosophy and military strategy. This is not to be confused with Sun Tzu's Art of War. The identity of the two Suns has baffled many historians. While some records allege that Sun Bin was a descendant of Sun Tzu, other historians believe that the two might be the same person. According to ancient texts, Sun Pin's Art of War original treatise had 89 chapters and four volumes of diagrams. All these were lost towards the end of the Eastern Han Dynasty. But in 1972, nearly 2,000 years later, fragments of Sun Pin's Art of War treatise, written on bamboo slips, were discovered from an archaeological site at Ying Chue Shan, or Silver Sparrow Mountain in Shandong Province. This discovery confirmed that both Suns existed in history. Both had written a military treatise. Translated from the recovered bamboo strips, Sun Bin's book has three parts. Part 1 comprises 16 chapters, starting with Capturing Pang Juan, Conversations and Questions from the King of Qi State. Other chapters focus on the selection of troops, use of typographies, the eight battle formations, sacrifice in battle, and ways to boost and sustain soldiers' morale. Part 2 of the book has 15 additional chapters on various topics such as military formations, tactics on crushing an enemy unit, and military mistakes. Several chapters are dedicated to the discussions of the ideal qualities of the commander, weaknesses and fatal mistakes made by the commander, while the third part of the book covers writings from other historical sources. Today, Sun Pin's Art of War is one of the essential books on classical Chinese military philosophy and strategy.